how to link slides in an interactive room. For example, in this room, students can click on objects to read and watch videos about these national monuments. The advantage to this is that students stay in one place. This tutorial covers how to link images to slides, insert YouTube videos into Google Slides, and create an interactive room. I'll be using Google Slides today. So I've already prepped my room scene, and I've already selected a couple of books that I would like to link in my room. I'm going to do an interactive read aloud room. So I'm searching for the book cover, and I'm going to right click and copy and paste into my slide and then resize it to fit on my shelves. And I'll repeat this for my next title. I'm doing a seasons themed book room and I've selected four titles. Copy and paste. This one I needed to crop some of the white edges out first before resizing. Copy, paste, crop if needed, resize, and move it where you'd like it in your room. And grabbing my last title, copy, paste, resize, drag it, and drop it. All right. Now I'm going to copy and paste my room to create a slide template for each book. I'm going to just delete all the items off of it. And I'm going to add me reading in a beanbag chair since this is a reading interactive room. And I will click my, cell, my Bitmoji and click the link and I need to link it to slide one. Sometimes the link menu goes off the bottom of the slide and it's hard to navigate. Um, even now when I made the slide smaller, it's still on the bottom. But if you use the arrow down key on your keyboard, you can arrow down and see the slide you need. In this case, it's slide one. And I'm going to copy and paste that template now four times because I have four books that I'd like to link. And I'm going to put the cover of the book on each slide. So for example, grabbing my winter book, resizing it, you can right click order and send it um, behind so that it goes behind my head. Now, I'm going to link my winter book to slide two. Using that link key, uh, button or you can do control K. Then I found this book on YouTube. I'm going to copy the URL and you can't just paste it in the slide. This is what happens when you paste it. That's not what we want. So go to insert video and now you can paste the link. Click the search and then click the video and insert it and you can move it around and resize it. And now my winter read aloud slide is done. Then I can repeat this process for each of my books. And then to preview, if in your URL you exchange the edit word for present question mark RM equals minimal, you can see what the students might see if this were embedded in your website um, or shared in present mode. So students could click on a book cover, watch the video of the read aloud, and then in this case, I would tell my students, just click on me to return to the room. That could be a navigational norm. And you could add text, other images, uh, multiple videos, and keeping students all in one place.